Good morning, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, I should say. It's Monday, April the 15th, 2024, and unfortunately, bridges have been closed down as multiple barges broke loose, causing extensive damage in Pittsburgh. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this kind of reminds me of what happened with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. And if you're thinking that, you're not alone. Because this is just unbelievably odd. What do you guys think about that? Now, it, as it turns out, some of our bridges, they're susceptible to these sorts of accidents. Or at least this is what they're telling us. And this is because we have bridges that lack safety measures. That in and of itself should already raise a lot of red flags, uh, especially within the White House. Uh, but of course, uh, all of these incidents, all of these accidents as they're calling them this is how they're treating them they're calling they're treating these things these incidents as accidents and they're immediately eliminating cyber attacks as a possibility from the get-go so why would you just immediately um say that something's not a cyber attack before you really do a thorough investigation please somebody let me know now before we really dive into this thing here guys i've got some information i got some things i want to share with you guys today uh that you're definitely going to want to know that you're definitely want to that you're definitely going to want to tune into. So all I ask is that you take a second, hit the like button for the video. I totally appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing, and always thank you so much for sharing these videos on Facebook and Twitter. Totally appreciate you guys. All right, uh, got a lot of you guys in the live already in the chat. Thank you so much. All right, so let let let's be honest. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a hundred. Right? Accidents they happen all the time. Right? Accidents do happen. Right? That's not out of the ordinary, but what is worrying for a lot of Americans is the consistency at which some of these supposed accidents are happening right now, right? Some experts, they believe that they could be cyber attacks, while others are suggesting that it's possibly even something way worse than that. Now, analysts from across the country are saying, or at least they're suggesting, that these events that have been taking place one after another, right? that essentially these events, they could be seen as maybe a distraction from something bigger, possibly to deter us from understanding what's really going on. What do you guys think about that? Now, let's take a look at what happened recently in Pittsburgh. Did you guys know what happened over in Pittsburgh? Let's have a look here. Morning, Megan. At this time, Pittsburgh police say that 26 barges broke loose and floated down the Ohio River. You can see where some of them got stuck right here at the Emsworth Lock and Dam. Uh, and so far, no reports of anyone hurt. Now, if you take a look at your screen, this is a look from up above. Police say the call came in just before 1130 last night. Out of the 26 barges, 23 were loaded and three were empty. Those that were loaded were carried carrying dry cargo like coal, but no hazardous materials. Now, Peggy's Marina sustained extensive damage. We caught some of that last uh, in the early morning hours. So far, 11 of the barges were located pinned against the riverbank by Bruno Island and are currently being held by a tugboat. 14 continued down the river and six went over the Emsworth Dam. According to police, Campbell Transportation Company owns and operates the barges, which is located on the left descending bank of the river just downstream from the West End Bridge. For several hours, that bridge was closed but is now back open in both directions. It's unclear if rail traffic remains though shut down to Bruno Island. Now, we've also seen some traffic back on the McKees Rocks Bridge as well, but have not confirmed whether it's back open in both directions. We've also reached out to the Army Corps of Engineers and so Well, guys, I got to ask you guys. I mean, this just seems a little bit suspect. You know what I mean? I mean, now, granted that this all supposedly happened because of a flood, but... You have to think that precautions were put in place to prepare for uh, such a hazard, right? Because it's absolutely insane to think that these barges went under bridges and even over dams, right? Like, this has led many critics to believe that there's just, there's got to be something more to this. There's got to be something more to this, guys. And they're all happening in the exact same year as the 2024 presidential elections. 
I mean, seriously, I don't know. I don't know. I, are you guys buying this? Are you guys buying this? Uh, Guadalupe Ruvino, what's going on, brother? Thank you so much for the four ninety nine super chat. I appreciate you, my man. Um, so yeah, like, let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys are able to see and hear me. Okay, I didn't even ask earlier in the uh, in the live, but I see you guys commenting, so I guess we're okay on the audio and the visual. All right, so um, the question now is, is this meant to distract us from what's really going on, right? Um, because a lot of onlookers, they're basically saying that a barge or two, okay, a barge or two floating down the river, down, down the river would be an accident, right? But 26 barges, I mean, that's a lot of barges, guys. And again, we're seeing the same pattern here. We are seeing the same pattern where bridges are being closed due to the danger that these events present to the public. Now, I'm not trying to discount the dangers that they present. These are some serious dangers. I mean, um, yeah, these are some serious dangers that they present. Now, I, I, how many of you guys drive over a bridge on a daily basis, on a regular basis? Thankfully, I don't, I don't really have to drive over bridges. I mean, I guess I drive over overpasses, but they're not really... I guess they are technically bridges. So I do drive over bridges every day, I think. They're just not necessarily over water. Um, but anyway, bridges are a very key element to our country's economy. And it makes transportation of people as well as goods that much faster. I mean, just think about how many overpasses you drive over every single day or how many bridges you drive over every single day. Imagine if that overpass or that bridge wasn't there. How much longer it would take for you to get from point A to point B, right? And... Um, so, you know, with the case of the Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, not only did it cause billions of dollars in damage, but it's also expected that American taxpayers are going to be basically footing the bill as Joe Biden, federal government, has stepped in and basically said, hey, we got you. We know you knocked down our Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, but don't worry about that. You know, we got this. We're not even going to go after your insurance company. We'll just go ahead and make the American taxpayers pay for this, right? And who knows how long it's going to take for that bridge to be repaired? Probably at least two years. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be surprised if it took five years to rebuild that bridge because they're going to, this is a, they have underwater supports. There's all sorts of debris that they're going to have to clean out and remove first. This is, this is no small task uh, by a long shot. So um, that, that bridge is going to be down for a minute and it's affecting our economy. Um, now, again, experts, there are experts who believe that um, this is because they don't want any third party insurance companies checking the wreckage and figuring out what actually happened there. And it's not the bridge. It's not it's it's not the only bridge that's um, that's in danger over there. If you think about it, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge is just 20 miles downstream. That's that's a critical bridge, guys. And this is also part of the same shipping route, if you guys remember, that the container ship Dolly goes through. The same ship that collapsed the Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, guys. Experts are already warning that it's at a prime risk of collapse if a vessel rams into it. Now, it's also important to note that, you know, besides the uh, the shipping route un underneath it, the bridge also connects residents to Washington, D.C., Baltimore regions to uh, beach towns on the eastern shore of Maryland, and of course, the Delaware coast. Now, get this. So a report from CNN shows that more than a dozen major U.S. bridges that cross shipping channels that lead to the biggest uh, ports in the country, they have stronger defenses against uh, ship collisions. However, there's also a handful of them that are much like the Scott Key Bridge that contain what they call fracture critical members, right? So you might be thinking, well, what is a fracture critical member? Like, what does that mean? Well, it means that these bridges are susceptible to collapsing even if only a single element is taken out. And this is why there's a uh, a lot of concern out there that's, you know, be, given that we've seen more and more of these incidents happening across the country. How many of you guys are buying this? 
uh, is, is this just an accident or is there more to this? Now, this kind of reminds me of something that we reported back in March. Uh, a report showed that we have cargo cranes in our ports that can potentially be used as spy equipment. The cranes were built by Chinese manufacturers, but has since been considered a security risk. More than 12 cellular modems that have been used remotely were found in these cranes. It's a big deal, guys. This is a little bit, this is a little alarming. I don't know if, if, if I'm just being, uh, you know, just a, a, a worry person, <laughs> one who worries too much, but, and I, I probably do worry too much, but anyway, um, now you would think that we wouldn't have that many cranes that were made from China, but this is not the case. In fact, our ports use just under 80% of ship-to-shore cranes that were made by the same company. And although the Biden administration has already announced that they're investing like $20 billion to replace these cranes, it doesn't mean that the damage hasn't already been done. Cyber warfare is on the table, you guys, if we're talking about China. I mean, we already know that they tried to and, and succeeded in hacking different parts of our critical infrastructure. So now, um, you know, now they're saying uh, that these incidents that we're seeing can be pinned. It, I, I mean, honestly, they're not really saying who is at who is actually behind this. So we can't really pin which country is doing this to us or, or anything like that. But we have to be aware of what's going on. But the idea that a foreign nation can go into our infrastructure, into our systems and mess with our infrastructure, this is a real threat. And we have received countless warnings from FBI Director Christopher Wray. Remember the whole blinking, he's seeing blinking red lights that were similar to the 9-11 attacks? Guys, we can't ignore these things. And I hate how it's like, how is mainstream media not covering this more? Like we're... People should be concerned. This is this is very serious. This is very serious. Just picture picture any bridge that you cross over every single day. Picture that in your mind. And then picture that bridge missing, like just a big old gap. How does that change your life? How does that change your local economy? How does it change the global the, the United States economy? Anyway, so you know it's a direct threat to Americans across the nation because you know, we're going to be the ones that are going to be directly affected. And while all of this is happening, we know that tensions are running high between Iran and Israel. Right. So I don't know how many of you guys saw my uh, report on uh, on Iran uh, attacking Israel. If you haven't already checked that video out, definitely check that video out right after this one. It was my previous live. And we've heard President Joe Biden talking about it and saying that our ties with uh, Israel remain ironclad. But did you know that diplomats from our country are now asking China of all places for help? That's right, guys. So U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken recently talked with China to talk uh, to try and ask for their help in de-escalating the situation in Israel. So I guess we're in a real complicated situation at the moment where we're basically begging China for help now. Um, like I said, though, if you haven't checked out that um, uh, the, the video of my previous live, uh, Iran attacking, basically declaring war on Israel, uh, check out my previous live. You got to check that one out. So, you know, many critics, many critics of the Biden administration, they believe that he's left the United States in a very precarious vulnerable state, especially with our southern borders just wide open. And they say that these incidents that continue to threaten our bridges and our critical infrastructure, they're proof that the United States is nowhere near where we were in terms of security just a few years ago. So what do you guys think? Is there a bigger story behind these barges getting loose and all these bridges being shut down or collapsed? Or was it just an accident? Maybe we're just blowing all this out of control, out of proportion. But uh, let me know what you guys think on that. Let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. Um, I mean, I just I just can't ignore what's going on around us right here, guys. 
By the way, if you haven't already, do hit the like button for the video. Helps uh, YouTube to, tells YouTube to basically push this video out to more people so that they can see what's really going on. Um, because typically, I mean, sometimes we do get suppressed on the channel. Um, let's see. Dude, please check out Savers Day 2024. Do you guys know anything about Savers Day? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Amen Ra uh, 77 I don't know what that is, but I will definitely make sure to um, take a look at that. I just marked your comment so I can follow up on that. Thank you for the heads up. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is or if you know what that is, please let me know. Um, let's see. Shawnee Daly says, trapping people for what's to come. Britannica McGowan says that this is not an accident. Um, I'm inclined to be, you know, to believe you on that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so let's see 50 MK Fox says, nope, totally intentional. They think we're stupid. Uh, mighty R one says, hope none of my cousins got hurt. Uh, I hope none of your cousins got hurt either. Um, let's see. Love Buzz 1111 says, uh, up Michigan is only attached to Mitten by a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bridges are very, very critical. They're very important. And it's interesting how much of our in infrastructure is being attacked while under the administration of the same president who just passed the infrastructure um, relief package. Um you know, I mean, basically, Joe Biden campaigned on uh, investing in the United States infrastructure. So what better way to uh, promote his initial objective than to create a need to have to fix infrastructure? Possibly. I don't know. Uh, waiting for more details to come out. Uh, Billy Brooks says Trump 2024. You guys know that Donald Trump's... Uh, Hush Money case in New York City started today. I got updates that I want to bring to you guys uh, later today on that. What do you guys think is going to happen with Donald Trump's Hush Money case? You think he's going to get a fair trial in New York City? We got Judge Juan Merchan uh, over that, presiding over that case. Uh, I've shared with you guys how uh, his daughter uh, has done quite a bit of uh, work helping uh, Kamala Harris as well as Joe Biden in their, uh, in their campaigns. And you know how these campaigns are, you know, if you're helping Joe Biden or Kamala Harris in their uh, presidential campaigns, all they're doing is basically tearing down their uh, their their the runner up. They're tearing down the uh, Republican candidate. So basically they're tearing down Donald Trump. So do you think that you're really going to get a legitimate uh, fair trial by a judge whose daughter clearly supports the comp the competition let me know what you guys think on that one um but yeah guys yeah i'm gonna keep you guys posted i'm gonna keep you guys informed i do appreciate you guys hitting the like button uh we've got almost 700 people here in the live if i can get a few more of you guys to hit the like button if you haven't already also share this video on facebook and twitter we need to get the truth out our country is at risk appreciate you guys rocking with me this morning i'll be on later this this afternoon, maybe this evening, and uh, you guys have a great one. Take care.